and still ahead that metal and styrofoam block it used to be a refrigerator we're going to show you how southern california edison is squishing one million refrigerators and a way that you can win a brand new refrigerator coming up on the other end of this break we'll be right back these are kind of making their death mark for 18 years old style energy draining refrigerators have been showing up at a kind of kitchen junkyard in Compton. Rows and rows of these things. They're all headed to the crusher. As a squished box, your refrigerator won't keep your eggs cold anymore, but it still has value. They got all kinds of valuable metals, they got foam, they got oil. But the bottom line is, we'll pay you to allow us to recycle it in an environmentally friendly manner. Southern California Edison actually pays its customers for junker refrigerators, and today? Which one out of all these is the millionth refrigerator? Talking of green, I guess they picked this one. <laughs> okay. So, this you know, yeah, this is it. This is the millionth refrigerator in beautiful avocado. About to become guacamole. Yeah, with 2,200 pounds per square inch of crushing power, the Easy Crusher squishes two refrigerators at once as easy as you'd squish a can. So in the end, what you wind up with is a very small cube of metal that can be sorted out, picked through, and pulled out. A million is a big milestone. The EPA tells us no one in the world has recycled a million refrigerators before, but permanently unplugging these things saves enough money to power more than a million California homes for a year. A lot of people have two, two refrigerators. You can get rid of an old one like this. And finally, we're vandalizing these old refrigerators one more time with KTLA.com slash Dave. That is the place you can go to find out how to recycle your own refrigerators, get that money back, and also know about the new Facebook contest that Southern California Edison is doing where they're giving away not one of these old babies, but a new energy efficient refrigerator. Once again, KTLA.com slash Dave. In Compton, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News cool. Well, you may not think you can afford a new refrigerator, but can you afford not to get one? Now, if you have an old clunker of a fridge, it could be costing you big bucks. Now, CBS 2's Dave Malkoff shows us how you can get some cash for it in tonight's 615 Spotlight. They're old. They guzzle energy. And you can earn money by trading them in for a new one. Sound familiar? This is the original Cash for Clunkers yeah. program. We've been doing this at Edison since 1993. LADWP and other utilities also have similar recycling programs. 50 bucks in cash all starts with one phone call. And we send out a truck to pick up their old working refrigerator. Here at Arca Recycling in Compton, workers remove the glass, drain the oil and refrigerant gas, all recyclable and slice the fridge apart like the roast beef it once held all to get to the foamy insulation center. It now goes into this massive machine that puts a lot of pressure, a lot of torque, and a lot of pounds of, of just crushing power. Truckloads of fridges arrive here every day like the one you may have in the garage. That kind of second refrigerator is also terrible for your energy bill. One leaky fridge can cost you $300 a year. Plus, it keeps these beasts out of the landfill. So that this metal gets reused in new appliances. There's an extra incentive to buy a new Energy Star fridge and toss grandma's old icebox. So it might be pretty to look at, even a little retro, but this thing isn't a piece of art. It's a wasteful machine that's costing whoever it was who used to own it a ton of money to try to keep anything cold in. So you want to find out how to make $50 off of your refrigerator? Just go to our website, cbs2.com slash Dave. In Compton, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News. Time now to check in with Johnny Mountain. You had boys. I know when they were teenagers, like my teenagers, uh, yeah, another way to save money is to shut the door while you stare at the refrigerator. <laughs> and that's another way. Yeah. That's another way. And a neighbor reminded me the other day that I called her and said, it's okay if you want to keep a truck in the refrigerator. I had a son that wanted to do that. Uh, they go through phases. All right, here you go. <laughs> I don't know. You just raise them and they leave. Two-view Doppler and HD, we had some.